Welcome to the channel. Today I want to tell you about the movie, Fantasy Island. Watch out for spoilers. Welcome to Fantasy Island. The movie begins with a group of tourists arriving on a tropical island to stay in a luxury hotel. All of these people win a contest and get to visit Fantasy Island. The island is owned by Mr. Rourke, who will soon meet the guests in person, but for now they can relax. Patrick Sullivan's character is taken to his abode. Melanie Cole is also settling in. Gwen Olsen asks Mr. Rourke's assistant how he fulfills people's fantasies, to which she says that fantasy is created individually for everyone. Gwen hears a noise and sees someone in the mirror, but she only imagines it. The guests are having a pleasant evening, and the two Brax and JD brothers are having a lot of fun. Everyone asks each other what each other's fantasies are, they wonder how they will be realized. Finally Mr. Rourke meets them, he tells them about two rules. One fantasy per guest and the fantasy must be seen through to the end. The brothers wonder why they don't have numbers yet, but their fantasy has already begun. Mr. Rourke takes them to a big and lavish party full of fun. The brothers are crazy about their fantasy, but Brax also sees a strange man. The next day, Gwen meets Mr. Rourke and her fantasy is very special, unlike any other. He wonders about Gwen's life, she had a lover whom she refused to marry, something she regrets to this day. Mr. Rourke is ready to fulfill her fantasy behind that door. Gwen enters the room and finds herself in the restaurant where her lover proposed. The lover himself is also there, which surprises Gwen. Gwen thinks he is pretending, but he doesn't know what she means. Gwen says it's not her wish, because it won't change anything, Mr. Rourke tells her not to miss her chance to say yes. Patrick and Melanie's fantasy hasn't started yet, Patrick talks about wanting to be a soldier, but his mother was against it, so he wants to be a soldier here, though not for real. Melanie tells him that she wants to get back at her childhood abuser who humiliated her. Mr. Rourke shows up and instructs what Melanie needs to do to start the fantasy. Melanie goes down in the elevator and finds herself in a strange room. Melanie starts recording a video and then turns on a button and sees a tethered abuser named Sloan. Melanie thinks it's a hologram and enjoys the torture. Another button causes Sloan's intimate video to be posted online. Her husband tells her where she's been for the past two days, and Melanie realizes it's not a hologram and she's real. Melanie wants to back out and tries to get out. Mr. Rourke brings Patrick to the beginning of his fantasy. Patrick puts on his uniform and heads into the woods. A man grabs him and tells him that all is not what it seems. The man runs away and soldiers come. They grab Patrick and take him away. Brax and JD spend a pleasant time discussing the nights they have enjoyed. Gwen spends time with her lover. He asks her to marry him and this time Gwen agrees. The brothers put on their costumes and find a secret room. Inside they find a room full of guns and they decide to detonate grenades. The soldiers bring Patrick to the lieutenant, and it turns out to be his father. Patrick didn't agree to such a thing, but then a firefight starts and Patrick is wounded. Melanie answers the phone and sees a man walk into the room with medical instruments. Melanie tries to stop the doctor and save Sloan and succeeds. Melanie breaks the window, saves the abuser, and they run away. The brothers continue to enjoy the fantasy, but they start getting shot at. Mr. Rourke says you should have thought about what you were wishing for and should have waited for the fantasy finale and people with guns burst into the room. Melanie lies that she too was kidnapped and managed to get out, Sloan thanks her for saving her. Then they are attacked by a doctor, but they are saved by a man Patrick has met. Patrick wakes up in the night, but there is no one around, a man grabs him, but it is a dream. The lieutenant asks how Patrick got his name tag and a picture of his child. Patrick proves to him that he is his son, the father doesn't understand how this is possible. Patrick says he died in Venezuela, it turns out they will be there tomorrow. Gwen wakes up in the morning and sees the wedding photo on her phone. Mr. Rourke says that they have been married for five years and have a daughter, which was Gwen's dream. Mr. Rourke tells that it is the power of the island, he sought this island with his wife, but she died and he wished for her to be alive again, and the island granted the wish. 
The father believes Patrick and wants to leave here to return to his son. Patrick says he can't leave the soldiers, for he saved them by sacrificing himself, but the father doesn't care. He wants to return to his son. Patrick stops him, because now he is here and they will save everyone. Armed men own the house, the brothers tell the truth, but they are not really believed. The man demands the hidden money and drugs and cuts JD's hand. He pretends to know where the money is and tells them the location. Gwen is having a nice time with her family, but it's only a fantasy. Gwen says she needs another fantasy, but Mr. Rourke says she can't have more than one. The man's name is Damon and he leads the girls to safety. They walk through the cave and come to a well. Damon is a private detective who needs to find out what this island is. Mr. Rourke needs to be stopped, and the island's power is in the stone that makes the water black, so Damon asks to get the water off the island. Melanie's truth is revealed and she spills everything to Sloane. The assistant feels bad, Gwen asks for another fantasy. It's her fault a man once died and she wants to fix it, the woman agrees to help. Gwen demands to change the fantasy again, because Mr. Rourke also has his own secret, the assistant is his wife, who lives while he performs the island fantasy, and he agrees to do so. Outside the door turns out to be a winter city, Gwen runs into the burning apartment and tries to save the man. In her fantasy she meets her brothers and Patrick, Gwen asks him to help save his friend, but he can't. Gwen tries to save her friend alone, but loses consciousness. Brax brings armed men and manages to escape and then kills the armed man. Damon suggests that everyone apologize to each other. The doctor appears again and Damon jumps off a cliff with him to save the girls. The soldiers continue on their way and find themselves in the brothers' fantasy. Patrick sees Brax walking with a grenade. Patrick doesn't understand what he is doing in his fantasy, but then a fight breaks out. The soldiers rescue JD and the girls. The fight continues and the man prepares to throw a grenade at the soldiers, but Patrick manages to kill the man. Everyone is glad to be alive, but then JD gets shot. All the gunmen come back to life and kill almost all the soldiers, including Patrick's father. Melanie apologizes again for what happened and gets an idea. They return to the bunker and contact the abuser's husband. She apologizes to her husband and he agrees to help. Mr. Rourke's wife pulls Gwen out of her fantasy. Someone comes down in the elevator and the girls are ready to attack, but it turns out to be Patrick and Brax. They run to the dock, but are stopped by Mr. Rourke. It turns out they all share the same story, the tragic death of a man from Gwen's fantasy, everyone was responsible for his death, so they must die. A plane arrives and everyone runs to the dock, but then the plane explodes. The island tries to kill everyone involved in the death. They decide to destroy the stone in the cave. There is a labyrinth in the cave and it is necessary to stick together. Gradually everyone disperses and everyone is left alone. Patrick tries to find the others, but then his hands grab him. Sloane sees an exact replica of himself. Brax sees her brother. Sloane's copy humiliates her, but then the doctor attacks. Patrick sees his father, who attacks him, but Patrick kills his father. Gwen sees her daughter and then the burnt-out boyfriend. Suddenly Melanie appears and kills Patrick. It turns out that this is not Mr. Rourke's wife's fantasy, but Melanie's. She really loved the guy who died because of them, and she wants revenge on them. Sloane distracts Melanie and they take the grenade from her. They get to the well with the fantasy stone. Here Mr. Rourke shows up, he snatches the grenade and then Melanie shows up. Mr. Rourke can't let go of his wife and has to grant wishes. Mr. Rourke kisses his wife, she asks him to let them go and he decides to do so. Sloane drinks water to get her fantasy and Melanie is grabbed by her lover. She breaks free by throwing a grenade and Patrick sacrifices himself. Everyone reappears at the hotel, Mr. Rourke says Patrick is dead and his father would be proud of him. Now it's over and they return home. Brax stays on the island to keep his brother's fantasy alive. This is the end of the movie, Fantasy Island. Thanks for watching and good luck.